getting recognized as the national symbol of a country is a moment of pride and snow leopard has been recognized as the national symbol of the country Kyrgyzstan which is a central Asian country and this is what we will be discussing today. Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the Indian perspective and the Indian context of snow leopard and why is it important. So, we will be looking into the news then about snow leopard and its conservation status, then India's conservation initiatives that has been taken by the government till now to conserve snow leopard, what is project snow leopard, GSLEP program, significance of a snow leopard in the environment and in the end prelims MCQ. Topic is of relevance from GS paper 3 that is environment and ecology conservation aspect that something that is important from both prelims and mains perspective from prelims you should be able to know the conservation status of snow leopard the national parks where it is found and from mains perspective what has been the initiatives that has been taken by the government till now for the conservation of snow leopard and the news talks about snow leopard enigmatic big cat of high asia now national symbol of kyrgyzstan so, snow leopard has been recognized as the national symbol of Kyrgyzstan. So, let us first talk about the country Kyrgyzstan and its geographical location. So, the country Kyrgyzstan is a Central Asian country and it is surrounded by four countries and on its north, it shares its border with Kazakhstan. On its west, it has Uzbekistan. Then on its southwest, it is Tajikistan and then on its south and on its east it has china so in total surrounded by four countries that is kazakhstan uzbekistan tajikistan and china so snow leopard the mysterious and enigmatic symbol of high asia it is being said high asia because it is majorly found in the higher regions of the asian continent and it has been recognized as the national symbol of kyrgyzstan and kyrgyzstan was earlier a part of the soviet Union and in which got disintegrated in the year 1991. And the president of Kyrgyzstan has signed a decree on December 30, 2023, making snow leopard the national symbol of Kyrgyzstan. And snow leopard has been recognized as an important symbol of Kyrg culture. It means that in the cultural and the heritage value of snow leopard in the country Kyrgyzstan is very high. Now about snow leopard, so the scientific name of snow leopard is Panthera anshia. Then the IUCN list of threatened species if we talk about that is the conservation status of snow leopard and this is of utmost importance. So the IUCN state, uh, list of threatened species, the IUCN status for snow leopard is vulnerable. You must remember this because this can directly be asked. Then sites it comes under appendix 1 and Indian Wildlife Protection Act it comes under schedule 1. So it comes under the greatest security and the greatest conservation efforts are required for the protection and for the conservation of snow leopard. And then it is found in vast but fragmented distribution across the mountainous landscape of Central Asia vast but fragmented vast but fragmented means that it is not that it is present in one single vast area no the overall area is vast but it is found in certain aspects and certain regions of the asian countries and then if we talk about from india's perspective then the states in which the snow leopard is found is majorly the himalayan states so you can say it is found in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, then it is found in the state of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh. So, you can say that the Himalayan states, it is basically found in India. And then about the significance of the snow leopard, when we talk about from the environment and from the ecological perspective, then snow leopard and the presence of snow leopard tells a lot about the health of the ecosystem. It tells a lot about 
the functioning of the food wave and the food chain which is presently going on in the ecosystem or the environment so indicator of the health of the mountain ecosystem in which they live due to their position as the top predator in the food web so in the food web they are basically considered as the top predators top predators means that they are sitting on the topmost level you can say they are the omnivores so their presence in the environment is telling that the food wave web and the food chain is functioning in a proper manner if their absence will start to happen then the ecological cycle or the food web and the food chain within the ecosystem will not be able to function properly because if even out of all the cycles if even a single cycle at any level is missing then the proper functioning of the whole ecosystem or the whole food web will not be able to take place in a proper manner the now about india's conservation initiatives what are the initiatives that the government of india has taken till now for the conservation of the snow leopard first of all it is considered to be a flagship species for high altitude himalayas flagship species means that these species or snow leopard actually represent those places or those high altitude himalayas then the himalaya sanrakshak community program of the year 2022 so it has been said that the community program so the whole community will work towards the conservation of snow leopard then the national protocol on snow leopard population assessment as the population of snow leopard is vulnerable it means that we need to keep a check on their numbers so that they do not fall into the category of critically endangered or their numbers should not be falling in the coming times then secure himalayas project that is gef and undp funded so it is funded by the gef and the undp and the secure himalaya project if the himalaya project or the secure himalayas takes place then the species living in the himalayan regions will automatically come within the respect of it so with the secure himalaya project the conservation of snow leopard goes hand in hand and it is listed in 21 critically endangered species for recovery by the ministry of environment forest and climate change so all the species which the ministry of environment is trying to protect and has been has made a list of it snow leopard is present in that list then about the project snow leopard which was launched in the year 2009 so it is not very old so the government of india's flagship program was launched in the year 2009 to conserve the declining population of snow leopard and it was by the ministry of environment forest and climate change to work towards the snow leopard conservation as it is considered to be a flagship species of the high altitude himalayan places so the those flagship species which represent a certain geographical ecosystem those species needs to be preserved then the aim of the snow leopard is to strengthen the unique natural heritage of india's high altitude wildlife population and their habitats by promoting conservation through participatory policies and actions conservation promotion of conservation needs to be put forward so this was about project snow leopard then gslep program and gslep stands for global snow leopard and ecosystem protection program so globally also the protection of snow leopard was in place because these are because snow leopard is a species which is basically found in the higher regions of asia so globally also the conservation of snow leopard was thought to be important and it was going on so the high level intergovernmental alliance of all 12 snow leopard range countries so in 12 countries snow leopard can be found and these countries can be india nepal bhutan china mongolia russia pakistan afghanistan kyrgyzstan kazakhstan tajikistan and uzbekistan so these are the 12 countries which are involved in the conservation of gslep program for snow leopard and among these kyrgyzstan has put or has made snow leopard as the national symbol of kyrgyzstan then majorly focuses on the need for 
अवेयरनेस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ स्नो लेपर्ड फॉर द इको सिस्टम अवेयरनेस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इफ द पीपल विल नॉट बी अवेयर टिल देन दे विल नॉट वर्क टूवर्ड्स द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द स्नो लेपर्ड टिल द टाइम दे आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट दैट वॉट रोल डज स्नो लेपर्ड प्ले इन द इको सिस्टम एंड वाई द स्नो लेपर्ड इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द इको सिस्टम टिल देन दे विल नॉट वर्क टूवर्ड्स देयर कंजर्वेशन एंड स्नो लेपर्ड इज has decreased in number in last one decade and few of the reasons can be first of all the major reason that nowadays which is coming up is the human animal conflict then the second most reason you can talk about is the skin for of the snow leopard it is hunted for so the skin and the fur of the snow leopard goes through the smuggling and then it goes through the international borders also and the demand in the international borders are also very high so these are few of the points for which the hunting or the poaching of snow leopard was also taking place then significance of snow leopard as i told you that it symbolizes health and stability of mountain ecosystem and they are also a sign you can say for the climate change they are the animals which are basically present at the higher altitudes like for example polar bears like for example penguins so similarly in the asian region high altitude snow leopards are a, a, can be a very good example to see the effects of increasing climate change or global warming in the ecosystem then it has been a totem animal in ancient kirg culture associated with the le legendary figure manas so if we talk about the heritage and the culture of the kyrgyzstan as a country then snow leopard is considered to be a very 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 important and a very legendary figure in itself because in the culture and the heritage of the kyrgyzstan the association of snow leopard has been there and the harmony between humans and nature symbolized by the snow leopard has been portrayed in a novel and that novel is named when mountains fall so a novel has also been written on it now in the end a prelims mcq and people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and it is a pyq of the year 2012 and the question talks about consider the following which of the above are naturally found in india naturally found in it, india it means not brought from outside naturally it is found in india black necked crane cheetah flying squirrel no leopard so this kind of questions is also what you need to prepare so what this question actually tells you that questions can be asked on any lines it is not that only the most difficult fact can be asked it is the dynamic nature through which you need to prepare yourself and make your mind work in that direction so which is naturally found in india black necked crane cheetah flying squirrel snow leopard and the and the codes are 1 2 and 3 only 1 3 and 4 only 2 and 4 only or 1 2 3 and 4 so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing